basically the kangaroo just clears the fence. How high is the fence? How high does the kangaroo jump? What's the maximum height? So we've got a kangaroo jumping at an angle of 55.2 degrees. Apparently somebody snuck up behind the kangaroo, went <coughs> kangaroo jumped and they held up a projector a protractor to it to measure that angle. They proceeded then to clean the kangaroo poop off of them. But the kangaroo jumps, thank you Nathan, I appreciate that. The kangaroo jumps, the problem doesn't say it jumps on the same and it lands at the same level. But it doesn't say it's jumping off a tower, off a building, so we can make that assumption. Fifty-five point two with respect to the ground. Yeah, with respect to the horizontal. Yes, yes. It's jumping off the ground, and it's yeah. That's a good way of looking at it. But no, normally, I'll say it's on a tower, cliff. It tells you it's not on the same level. Yes. So we've got some fence here that it, that it jumped over. We basically want to look at the maximum displacement in the y direction. It tells us the total jump, the length of the jump was 1.4 seconds. From when it took off to when it landed was 1.4 seconds. Oh, now... Now the 90% of the people realize what they did wrong. You didn't cut the time in half. All right. So just for giggles, let's still finish it. We've got, we understand the problem. We've got to break it up into X and Y. There is no X or Y in time. Our initial velocity in the X 8.42 times the cosine of 55.2, which is 4.81 meters per second. Initial velocity in the y is 8.42 times the sine of 55.2, which works out to be 6.91 meters per second. At this point right there, we want to know displacement in the Y. Uh, so there's a couple of ways of doing it. You can just plug in displacement in the Y, initial velocity times time plus one half AT squared. However, for the time, it's 0.7 seconds. It's half the path. Um, 6.91 times 0.7, negative 9.8 times 0.7 squared. Please remember to square that term. I noticed a lot of people writing t squared here, but they weren't squaring the number over here. And when you do that math, you get 2.44 meters. Some people... Some people use the um, final velocity is the initial velocity squared plus 2AD to figure out what that displacement is. That works too, but your final velocity at that point is zero. That, that, works, that works also. You get the exact same answer. You get 2.44 meters. The X displacement... How far did it go? Initial displacement in X times time. At this point, a lot of people did know we want to use the 1.4 seconds. And it works out to be about 6.73 meters. There's kind of the whole thing. <laughs> so the mate, most people... Didn't have that. Didn't have the 1.4 for 0.7. Um, other than that, most people did it right. That's good. 